Hello guys, welcome back to Rescue Ranch. So today we are here in our scorpion exhibit, which we are finally getting a move on. So as you can see, this is going to be the undead scorpion exhibit. So what we have, what I have done is I've put dirt down here, which is going to grow grass and stuff. We have a little watering hole kind of area um, and we put this dry dirt. So we need to go and get the grass from over in the mining house area. And I want to make a little cave, maybe out of like a custom, like a tree. Um, but what I wanted to do before we did this is I wanted to travel over to the wasteland biome, which is what we're kind of basing the undead scorpion exhibit on. Is this the wasteland here? Where is the wasteland? This is wasteland. Okay, we're just gonna deep, we're just gonna double click it. We're gonna put 150 so we can full wall. Uh, this one and we're gonna teleport there so we're coming here power of the loads we're coming here to pretty much oh creepy these are cool formations we have the grass already hopefully we can place it back just just we need to give everything a second to load in um but we've come here one to get some more resources two because I wanted to just see is this poison? I think that's poison. Is it poison? Yeah, poison bucket. Well, you can have your poison bucket back. Just to see, is this just water? Yes, this is just water. So we can just... Uh, just to see really what was here. It's very uh, desolate. Is that the word? I think that's the word. But we're coming to get some of these logs because I think they will be one amazing. Oh, there's a snake. Um, we won't kill it. I think we have pretty much all of the snakes now in egg form and yeah, pretty much I'm going to try and make like kind of a, I want to say a custom tree kind of, um, a custom, kind of like a tree cave, like, uh, the scorpions hollowed out the cave. And I think that would be just be really, really cool for our undead exhibits. We can put some skulls around. We have, luckily we have some scorpion skulls and some, ooh, what are they called? Skeleton, we have some skeleton skulls as well. Bunch of snakes here. I like these rock formations. Also this rock is, this dirt is really easy to pick at. So we can just collect a bunch of it. Actually, I don't think we need much of it. So this will probably be enough. We have the dirt already. We have the grass already. I mean, let's just pick this all up. But other than that, there's not really much here. <gasps> what are you? You're a cobra. I'm going to kill you because I can't remember if we have a cobra egg. Uh, let's just... Uh, my goodness, this pick, this, my pickaxe isn't even enchanted and we can destroy things really easily. So yes, we're back and we're going to work on the scorpion, probably one of the scorpion exhibits today. Um, but I mean, it's very, very desolate here, which means that we probably won't want to add too much. There's a lot of this, is it dried grass? Is that what the grass is called? dead grass it's called dead grass so this exhibit is going to be kind of a little bit you know a little bit bland i wanted to put a little bit of grass in just so there is a little bit of a change in the biome we may bone meal it to give it a little bit <gasps> what are you you're pretty i can't wait to get snakes um hmm yeah there's not there's not much there's a green snake and I think it'll be fun as well if we, <laughs> if we load, if we give the snakes that we get in names and uh, maybe a species, because obviously there's a bunch of different snakes. And I think one, it would be so cool if we maybe, I don't know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of a, a snake that I know, like the green ones, we could call the green tree pythons and kind of thingy it after that. Um, we won't put any cactuses in. Oh, there's a little cave down there. Um, 
No, it is really just a wasteland. So I think we may be done. I don't I don't really think we can add much yet. Ooh, are these Aubrey bushes? You know what? Ah. Uh, so glad it's just water. We'll take it because who knows, we can have an Aubrey farm maybe. Um hmm. Is this a nightmare? There's a baby nightmare here. Oh, bless. Um, more dead grass. There's some sand, some quicksand. Um, zebras. Wonderful. Okay, I think, I think that's going to be pretty much it. Let's just have a snack quickly. Then we can just TP to the stables. Yep, all the horses are loading in. Now we are back. We can quickly try and breed these guys again. These, because we are still on the hunt for that blood bay horse. So we need to give a carrot to you and a pumpkin to you. Now we wait. Okay, uh, Spike and Sage are here. They sadly won't be coming with us into the scorpion exhibit in case they get into one of the exhibits. And the scorpions do not like them. So maybe we can take some, maybe some, um, maybe we should go get some of that moss. Yeah, that would be good. Um, dead leaf piles and dead grass. Huh. I kind of think we need moss now. Let's just put this, 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 no, not this. Put the river cane in there. We'll put the orberry bushes in there. Is there any other plants? I mean, I would put these in, but I don't want, obviously, the scorpion to get wither effect and die, as we are going to give it one of the essences. Uh, where are my shears? Here we go. Okay, let's run over... Oh, it's almost night time. Maybe we could have a quick nap here. Um, can I sleep yet? But I did actually do a little bit of research on scorpions. I thought it would be a fun way and I just, you know, learned some basic facts. And you know how we find the scorpions, um, we have to tame the babies that are kind of mounted onto their mother's back. Well, that's actually a thing scorpions do. Um, the mother will get the babies to mount them, mount onto her back, and she'll kind of protect them. I'm not sure for how long or anything. I didn't really look at that. I'm only about thinking about that now. So I thought that was kind of interesting that the mod creator, the mod creator added that real life aspect in um, I think he, the person who made it, I think it's a man, but I'm not sure. Uh, I think he's very animal based and he likes kind of true facts, which I really appreciate. I think that's amazing. And he, oh, and also scorpions can actually be found in pretty much anywhere. I didn't realize that. Um, and they can like any type of environment. So there can be, well, I wrote this down, there can be scorpions who like to live on the ground, that like to live on the trees, in rocks, in sand, and I kind of just, that's kind of amazing. I didn't really have an appreciation for scorpions until I started doing a little bit of research on them. Um, but yeah, I just, you know, small fun little facts. I'm going to try <laughs> and learn about some of the creatures and animals that we're getting in. Did you see, like, a yellow thing? What is that? Hi, Flower Wolf. Oh, it's a gooseberry. Okay, we. I think we want... Oh, let's get more of these. These are kind of perfect ground covers we can use. Great. Mm, should we get some mushrooms? Should we see if we can plant some mushrooms in there? Yeah, that'll be alright. 
I mean, because we want it, because how we are doing this is we are planning, oh my goodness, the inventory. We're planning to do it very similar to um, kind of a Minecraft biome or kind of what we think it should look like so i think for like the dirt scorpion we'll definitely put some trees in we may make a custom cave out of uh stone or um maybe andesite to change it up um yeah and we're kind of doing it in our own way mr skeleton leave me alone okay yeah we're kind of doing it in our own way where we're trying to kind of create our own version can i pick up these <gasps> We can put these in the little river. The reeds. Perfect. Uh, let's just grab some vines. Perfect. Um, we could have done it like a swamp, actually, thinking about it as well. Okay, do I think... Hmm, maybe a couple more. And she is. this. We'll just share these guys. Okay. Um, what is this? This is a herb garden. There's... Is this a banana? Hi. <gasps> we'll take the bananas. I really want to plant an orchard. I want a nice orchard where we can grow all the different fruit and vegetable... Um, fruit trees. I think that would just be really cool. What are these? Lemons. <gasps> This turned into an expedition, which I wasn't expecting. We can have apple trees. I know I made some saplings, but I honestly cannot remember where I put them. Starfruit, are you done? No? Okay, we'll come back for you. It. what are these? Koru? Is that what they're called? Maybe. Get a few more ground covers. Because I don't want it to be horrible and barren and there's nothing like we're doing it kind of like the wasteland but i also want some other stuff in there uh these plants are pretty cool um okay anything interesting what is this duckweed yeah we can have some duckweed oh look there's a ray is there any more duckweed anywhere oh there's another ray there's more reeds what are these algae I mean, we can include some algae. Um, so yeah, I want to do these little expedition kind of things for some of the resources before we start one of the exhibits because I think it will be, you know, I want you guys to come along for the whole process with me from start to finish. And I think it'll be fun. Plus, you know, if you guys have any suggestions or if you see something that I miss in the world and you could be like, Alex, you need to grab this. Um... Yeah, I think it'll be, I think it'll just be fun. Uh, okay, just a quick little look into this. What is this? I think this is a uh, Outback. Okay, this is more Australia. And I think we're going to use, we're definitely going to use this, what's it, dried, hardened sand as the, what? I don't know. What was I going to put in there? I cannot remember. Okay, let's just teleport home quickly. It saves us. Oh no, we went away from the horses. You guys didn't have a baby, did you? No? Okay. Well, we, we can still wait. That's fine. Um, what are these? Wheat grass. Grass. Wheat grass. Hmm. What is... What is this little thing? Short grass. My goodness, we're full up on stuff. Let's throw dirt. Uh, maybe some wheat grass as well. We can just kind of add it in and see. Wheat grass, wheat grass. Okay, we'll only put a couple of these things in. So let's see if we can go and plant these reeds. And then we can make our scorpion and then we can carry on. Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay. We can place it. Can we place it? No. Okay. Well, let's throw our wood on the ground. Let's see if we can make a little, like... Huh, how am I going to do this? Maybe about... 
like that and then do something do we want it flowing or do we want it not flowing like do we want it to look like this cave has just been hollowed out so we could do it like that uh let's get some other blocks let's just use this dirt so maybe we could do something like uh hmm how are we gonna do this I, maybe like that then we can put maybe one like this and we can put a little bit going that way i guess we could change these ones to face this way uh, okay that's gonna do that it's gonna be very confusing to try and do this whilst looking at which angle the wood is going then maybe like there and maybe like hmm uh maybe we can put another one kind of like this or do you think that's a bit small Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. I don't like how square the top is, though. Maybe we can move this one and kind of place it like that. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's bad. We'll keep this light in here as a little heat source, maybe. I don't know. Um, let's just remove this as well. Hmm. Do I want to extend this up a little bit? Maybe do it like... Hmm. What do I think? Don't know. I'm not really... I don't really build nature-y types of things. Maybe. Maybe like that. I don't think that's terrible. Uh, maybe remove this one. Huh. No, I don't like how square that is. Huh. Maybe we could add like a piece. Goodness, trying to place these to look right is very. Oh, let's not use the lasso. Maybe take out this piece, place it like that. Huh, maybe, maybe. Then, I don't know if... Oh no, we can't place the dead leaves on these, no. Ah, uh, okay, well. We can just place it over here as some nice brown cover. Um, break up the colour a little bit. Then we have some more dead grass, which I think I'm going to try and, I hope you can hear me, which I'm going to try and spread pretty much everywhere like it was in the wasteland. Uh, there, there, there. I kind of like this piece of glowstone in the middle. Um, hmm. So they have, so it has water, it has a little bit of uh, shading. Did I bring any torches with me? No. Can I place this down? Nope. Oh, algae. Where can, can I? Does this need to be a little bit further down? Hmm. Maybe I have a few places with algae. I don't know if the scorpions can drown. So, I mean, you're not going to be able to see over here anyway, but I mean, we've got to make sure that we give our animals the best, even though they have been trapped in a little, a little hole for ages. Maybe we could actually, um, maybe... 
Okay, okay, I'm trying to think how I'm going to do this. I maybe want to put a little tree kind of here. But kind of have it as a little waterfall. Huh. Uh, maybe this could go there. And this could go there. Then we could put a bucket of water right there. Hmm. I like it. Uh, can we put these anywhere? Can we put... No. Okay, we can't place them there. Okay, so not having grass is <laughs> not going well for us. Uh, oh, the duckweed. Yeah. We can place a bit of Duck weed down. We have some shorter grass. We have more dead leaf piles. Um, wheat grass. We can just add a little bit. Definitely need to add some more torches. Okay, let's go quickly do that. Um, we will just take a look at it from the inside. And, oh, I don't know if I said, but Fang is going to become our scorpion. <gasps> Thank you for the egg, Mr. Chicken. Oh, baby chicken! My goodness. I think we're going to need, like, a chicken therapy course from chickens spending time in corners. Okay, let's have a quick quick sleep. There we go. Good morning. Uh, let's just go and check on these guys, even though I don't think that they bred because we were a little bit far away. But that's fine. Dream Eye, an unnamed horse. Can we try again? We really need this blood bay. It's kind of, you know, it's kind of one of the things we really need. Um, we need torches. So... Oh. I actually want to take a few of these quickly. Where's my chisel? Here we go. I want to see what we can turn the... Uh, coal blocks into. Ooh, there we go. Nothing. Okay. I know we can chisel other stuff, which is why I thought, but... Oh, well. Uh, let's just put... Oh, I needed... Let's just sort this out. Let's just take half of this. Sticks. It's always my problem is sticks. Um, and actually, we can probably make... The thing as well. Look at us doing things. We've been productive for once. Do -do -do -do. Essence of the whatever it's called. We'll put the lemons and the bananas in here. Maybe we'll go on a fruit expedition in the next few episodes. Oh, we have the toadstools as well, don't we? Um. Oh, and the vines we need to put out. Why was I here? Oh, yeah. We need to do this and do this, do this. We keep these sticks in here. Okay, let's go see if we can find a place for the toadstools and, um, do we want normal dirt in there? Hmm. I don't know. Um, because I don't want there to be a lot of green in there. I want it to be, oh, look how good it looks from out here. Oh, I'm actually quite impressed with myself. Oh, I love the little waterfall. And I thought the yellow flowers would be, like... Oh, I like it. I like it. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I'm actually really, really happy with this. And guys, we're actually getting things done. Our animals aren't just being abandoned anymore. So, we are going to put some torches up. Huh. Yeah. I think torches may be the best... We can just put one like, did I? Okay, that's there. So, if we come in here, can I? Okay, if we do that, we 
can put a torch in here so it's not like it's being shown to everyone. Um, maybe one like here. Yeah, because I don't want there to be like a bunch of torches everywhere. Maybe we'll try and fit one. Oh, okay, this is going to be difficult to do. On, on the back of this, if I can... There, like that. Hopefully that will light it all up. Oh, these reeds are really cool. I love the lantern. The glowstone that kind of just flows over this. Maybe we could add a, a piece of wood. Do I want to change it or do I like it like this? I think I like it like this. Then maybe we can add some vines growing kind of around... Hmm, then maybe some vines coming down as well. Um, put some coming off the waterfall. To kind of give this backdrop something else, let's just... Maybe we should fill it with vines, because I mean... Oh. <laughs> I was very confused. We're going to call this one, uh, Cloud Walker. Um... Yeah, Cloud Walker. Cloud Walker. Okay, we'll go and check that baby out in a second. Um, let's just... I kind of think I want vines going pretty much everywhere. Hopefully they'll grow. Is there anything else we can add? Um, well, I mean, we might as well try and put this grass down somewhere. Somewhere. Have I, have I used all of it? Have I used all the space? Let's just... There you go. Yeah, it's nice. Okay. So, let's go get the pet amulet out. See, I'm I'm getting better. I'm bringing it with me. Let's eat something. Yummy. Potatoes. Let's grab Fang. So, I've realised that the Oh, that takes your saddle off you? I did not know that. That's actually kind of good. So I realised that the golden lassos don't work with tamed animals. So yes, that's something we're going to have to keep an eye on. There you go, Fang. I hope you like your little exhibit we made you. Oh, look at you going all around. And now we're going to turn you into an undead scorpion. <gasps> so cool. <gasps> Bang, look at you in your new exhibit. Goodness, we need to photograph this. Yes, yes. Look, this is a little cave you can go in. So you can just sit down here. I'm trying to think what we could put in the cave. Maybe, um, I don't know if scorpions have hay. But there's a little hidey hole for you. Oh, yes, you can swim in the water as well. <gasps> oh, guys, I love... This This makes me happy. This is exactly what I wanted this series to be. It was about finding animals and kind of, you know... Just, I don't I don't even know. I just, I just, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. He looks so happy in there. It's better than this, which is horrible. Oh, Fang, look at you. Oh, this is just brilliant, guys. Hi, are you looking at the flowers? So this is your home. Look, there's a cave there. We need to put like benches and or something in here. Hi. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, oh, wait. I was going to end it, but let's go check on Cloud Walker. Let's see what he turned out to be. Is it going to be a good day? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Look at all the, oh, look at your wings, the giant wings. Who did we get? Are you what we need? Are you what we need? Are you what we need? Wait, I need to, I need to check the Wikipedia. Guys, Cloud Walker is the blood bay we need. <gasps> this is just, Cloud Walker, please get out of the floor. Oh, Dream Eye, random horse that doesn't have a name. You guys did so well. Okay, you can come with me. You can go back in here. Thank you for helping us get the horse we needed. Phone. Please shush. <laughs> okay. Hey, guys. Hey. Um, I expanded your paddock area and 
Like, no one's... Besides this one reindeer Pegasus Destria horse. No one else is over here. Okay. Good to know. Oh, look at you guys all stretching your wings. Uh, we need to do more... We need to put... Um, do I think we should put some hay in the exhibits? I don't know. I don't. Okay, Dream Eye. Let's go. Um, jump. Also, um, I am probably saving my Shire horse names for some of the more magical horses. Because, I mean, my Shires are my favourite. And, you know, I mean, we're going to have a lot of horses in this series. Nope, this is where your child goes. So, would you go here? <laughs> I probably should have checked this before I go back on you. No, are you the next one over? Wee, Whee! Whee! There we go. Is this you? Yes, buckskin. You are a buckskin. So. We're slowly, slowly, slowly moving. I need to mark off our little, our little checklist. I mean, at the moment we only have four horses. But Blood Bay. There we go. So I kind of like the fact that we don't really know what horse we're getting. Uh, what the horse variation is going to be. Until we do it, so I can't, like, name a horse after a certain one. Oh, you're turning into a skeleton horse. I kind of really like it, but, you know, I feel sorry for you, Wolf Lord. But you are amazing. You're my first magical horse. I know. I know. Um, okay. So next, we would need a Bay Tovaro, which, oh, the backup starting, which means we're going to lag for a second. We need a Bay Tovaro, which is going to be our first tier three. So we will need to breed that baby out there with Silverstone in our next episode. Silverstone, please get out of the ground. Please get out of the ground. And we will also be working on another one of our exhibits. I'm thinking the Dirt Scorpion? Maybe. Maybe the nether scorpions. Maybe we'll do theirs. I don't know. We'll pick. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. And yes, we will just see you guys in the next episode. Where hopefully we can carry on breeding these horses. So we can be able to get a zebra. So we can get the magic horses. Oh, that was a mouthful. But yes, thank you guys. And we will see you guys next time.